How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Wake Up World. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I want to talk about this week is the elections and just my thoughts on this, and also a thought of what if, um, uh, as far as when it, uh, as far as it has to do with Obama. Okay. Um, when we think of leadership, what do we think of? That's the first question. John Maxwell teaches a rule that you know you're a leader by looking behind you and seeing those who follow you. Now, however, true leadership is about turning your followers into leaders. That is true leadership. True leadership is also not someone that makes commands, gives commands, and says they're going to do this and that, but they're actually the ones that get on the front lines or with you so it gets done. Good leadership are transparent people. They live by humility and integrity. They're willing to take risks, but calculated risks. They look at both sides of the people, in this case, both sides, a Democrat and Republican. And what's going to be best for them. They truly stand by what we're supposed to do. And that's ask the people, not the Congress, what's going to work for the people. Not the legal, the, the, the legal system, what's going to work best for the people. Instead of asking the people what's going to work best for them. They don't make a laundry list of things that they promise to do when it is completely impossible to do them. Instead, they work. They look at the issue at hand and they try to resolve. And then see what can be done next. To me, that's a true leader. <clears throat> for those who have been watching me for a while, I don't necessarily uh, consider myself a Republican. I am more of a constitutionalist or a conservative, if you will, or a libertarian. I'm basically the farthest, if you will, left or right, uh, when it comes to left and right, uh, the farthest right you could be. Um, but here's the thing that's dividing our country is exactly that left and right, Democrat, Republican, uh, forgetting the, the history of both parties, where they came from, why they came about. In the, in, in, the, in the Bill of Rights, in, 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 the, in the Constitution, it says, we the people, not Democrats and Republicans. It says, we the people. The first issue I think that we need to work on as far as selecting leadership is creating a common between the two, working together instead of against each other. Because we'll solve nothing. When you turn the wheel to the right, it's going to go in a circle. When you turn the wheel to the left, it's going to go in a circle. We're just going to spin in one direction or the other. Instead of stopping, seeing where we're at and where we need to go. We need to unite together as a country again, as a people again. Without making promises and just seeing the issues and resolving them together as a people, as a nation. Not racially divided, not divided by Democrat or Republican, by Libertarian or Liberal. We need that leadership. We need that leader. So as far as the elections go, here are my two cents. And this is YouTube. I'm, I'm just speaking my heart and, and, and uh, trying to find a stand biblically. What we need, and I don't care who you are, I respectfully say that, 
But the further our country goes away from God, the worse this country is going to become. We've been seeing it. I want a man after or a woman after God's own heart. That's the type of leader I want. So and before he ever begins to go through paperwork for that day or go to this conference, this conference, or hear this or hear that, they go into this first every morning. They go before his throne before they go to try to lead people. With that being said, as you can see in my fridge right there, a person I wanted to uh, become uh, our president is out. The person he endorses, I don't like. Uh, uh, that person uh, scares me. Um, promising the same thing that the current leader that we have, and that's change. When no change, or the only change that happened was to hurt us. Um, so, with that being said, I'm not an endorser for Trump. Um, uh, the reasons why I don't like Trump, he's too arrogant. He's a businessman. Um, businessman in a leader, leadership position uh, that he wants to run for. Hey, look, I got respect for the man. He is an entrepreneur. Great. But that is not the leader that we need. When you're a businessman like that, hey, one store closes, you can open two more in a better location. That doesn't happen here. You're leading a country. You're the face, the representative of me and others like me and of just people around this country. Um, that is not the face I want represented for me. Um, people keep on saying, hey, well, you know, he, he's like the modern day Hitler. I can see their point on that. Um, but on the flip side, you have a guy I don't see how is running legally because, uh, you know, we do have a system set in place that you run for one party or the other. Not a th It's rarely that you see a third party unless it's libertarian or cons conservative or um, liberal, um, if you will, in this, the, like, the furthest left or right you can go. But socialist? Let me, let me explain this to you. You guys are afraid that Trump is a, is, is a modern-day Hitler. Look at some of the things Hitler says and some of the things that... Bernie Sanders says there's also a, conspir a comparison to them if you vote for it I just want to make this plain and clear people say that socialism will work here in America no it will not because our Constitution will be void socialism and democracy does not work together it does not work at all we have a system set in place that works if we choose to use that system we haven't been that is the problem Again, stop promising this, this, and the other thing and work at the situ situations at hand. Or make no promise at all. Step down. Because that's what we need, is we need to work on the issues here at hand. Not making promises. I don't know if you guys understand where I'm coming from with this. We, we, they're promising to do this and that and the other things instead of looking at the issues right now that we can resolve as a nation, together. Not just the pol uh, politicians. But as a people, I do not endor endorse Bernie Sanders at all. Um, if it comes between him and Trump, I'll, I'll vote Trump. I, I'm going to pray he'll he'll be the less of the two evils. Um, when it comes to uh, Hillary Clinton, you know the scariest thing I've been hearing why people are voting for these people. Um, for one, they're saying because Hillary would be the first president. That is their stance of why they're voting. For that individual, for that, for Hillary. That is dangerous. You're going to vote. Okay, so you're, you're telling me. I'm just, I'm just saying, and <laughs> pun is intended here. You're saying that if, a, if someone was convicted or murdered just because they may be the first of whatever, you'd still vote for them. I'm just saying. Um... So, yeah, uh, I'm all for a, a female president, but not this female, not that lady. No, no, no. Too many gray areas, too many hidden things. 
Um, Cruz, as, as far as he goes, I'm not a big Cruz fan either, just by some of the things he said when he was younger. Um, he professes that he follows the Lord. I pray that he truly does. I pray that they all do because pretty much every single one of them does, including the one we have here in power. I don't see the fruits. Um, choose very wisely who you sign, who you check mark by, and why you check mark. Don't be, make it because he's cute, he's old, his hair, he's funny, he made me laugh, he promised this, this, and the other thing. Look at what they have done beforehand before you put them in power of what they want to do and may do something completely different. Make a wise decision on this, people. So my vote, look, it's going to have to come to the very last minute of who I'm going to vote for. And to tell you the truth, this is the first time I have ever voted. And I make it a point to vote. Um, Rather, it's a, you know it's it's already set in stone. It's already a a, a selected game. Uh, who wins? At least I could say I tried. But here's the other thing: uh, is, is this is the what if question? I've been saying this, and I still think is a possibility, even though it's completely against the Constitution. Um, I'm not an Obama, Obama fan at all. Um, I'm not anti-government. I want a government that does their job. And I've, I've told the story many times. I didn't care what this country did um, or what it was about or any of this stuff until like four years ago. And then I really started caring. And I care now to tell you this. Vote wisely. Stand by your vote and why you voted. But again, choose wisely. Um, but this is the what if. Just saying, what if? And I've been saying this ever since he got his second term. What if there is no election come November? The ways that can happen is if we go to war against North Korea or China. Then, by, I believe it is law, the elections are canceled. Just saying, what if? Anyways, guys, uh, you know, I, I, this was kind of a dry, long, uh, drung out video. I just asked you to heed me on what I had to say. Again, it's my two cents. It's, this is YouTube. Everybody gives theirs. This is mine. Um, pray for our country and the, light leader, or the right leadership to take a stand, even if it's not in the White House, but locally. Because uh, the, the Bible says, you know, when Winkle, wicked counsel um, is in rule, um, and, and corruptness is basically whispered is uh, corruptness is wh whispered into the ears of a leader basically to paraphrase it affects everyone and that leadership rolls and downhill and on onto us what this country mostly has is 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 it's the lack of being a nation under God anymore we we aren't we need godly leadership we need God back. Uh, we need him get back into our um, courthouses. We need him back into our judicial system. We need him back into our politicians' offices. That's all i got to say. Please share this if you agree. Um, I think this is a pretty important video of what I had to say. I've been thinking about it for the last week. Um, again, guys, choose wisely. Pray. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I just gave you my two cents. God bless.